Hi, and welcome to the road trip on ITV Winnipeg. I'm Kelly Taylor. And I'm Michael Clark. And behind us is the 2010 Toyota Venza. And, you know, we were talking recently about some Toyota products and asking ourselves, where is the love? Well, I think we found it. I think we totally have. And it's interesting that, of course, we're dealing with what has evolved from, in the old days, the Camry station wagon, to now a very usable vehicle with some incredible features. And I have to tell you, one thing I've had a little bit of an issue with has been Toyota fit and finish in the interiors. I have nothing to say bad about this one. No, this one's pretty slick. And you know what, I think in terms of crossovers, station wagons, whatever you want to call them, this one is sort of like the Goldilocks. It's definitely... It's not too big, it's not too small, it's just about right. But it's also got a footprint that doesn't, of course, speak to whether or not it's crossover, whether it's a uh, sport utility. This is something that, in my opinion, is completely unto itself. Actually, you came up with a name for it. A wagon over. A wagon over. I like wagon over. That's right. Hey, let's talk a little bit about the engine. Under the hood of the Toyota Venz, you have two engine options. You've got a 2.7 liter four cylinder at 182 horsepower, or you've got the 3.5 liter V6 at 268 horsepower. Now, of course, the interesting thing about either powertrain is that you can also get them with available all-wheel drive. Now, this particular one, being the V6, I've always got a little bit of concerns when it comes to service accessibility. But I will give Toyota credit where credit is due. When it comes to the engine cover, it is still one of the easiest things to remove and get to the accessibility of the coil-on plug ignition. Now, as you can see with the way that the intake is done here, there's still going to be some issues getting to the back of the engine for spark plug changes and You can servicing. easily service one bank of the cylinders. My favorite in this, and I've had the joy of driving it, is the 2.7. When you think about how much horsepower that 2.7 liter 4 is putting out, that's what Sienna vans were putting out around year 2000. Yep, and it's 182 pound-feet of torque, so it's going to go off the line pretty good. Well, it's definitely got the, the poke where it needs it. I like the fact that all of the fluid levels are very accessible and easy to get to. You know, even things like the elongated neck for the master cylinder and the batteries right up front for ease of accessibility. In fact, this actually looks as though something that you could go and change the air filter on yourself without too much difficulty. It looks like you could, uh, the things that you'd want to change yourself, you can easily. I wonder where Kelly is. Around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Hello. How you doing, Kelly? I'm pretty good. It looks like you're actually quite comfortable in the back of the Benza. I wouldn't go that far. Well, definitely. But the cargo space in here is pretty good. And they've got a couple of really neat features, including remote latches to fold the seat back. Well, and what I like about those remote latches is when you do release them, the seat back actually does fold forward. So that it's makes spring it spring loaded. It goes forward by itself. It's nice, good. nice and easy. You got the removable cargo cover there right behind you. Uh, good attachment points here. So it keeps things away from pry bar eyes, as I like to call them. And also little things too, like you've got your 12 volt DC power back here, uh, bag hooks, and also the ability to put the cargo net into the back. Good height, good accessibility. So if you're going to be uh, hauling all sorts of different types of cargo, I really think that the Venza is definitely one that you need to look at. Now, one of the first things you're going to notice when you get into the back of the Venza is how expansive the room is. Even with driver position and front passenger position almost fully back, you're going to see that there's actually an ample amount of leg room. And of course, the seat backs here also do a very comfortable recline for the long trips. Now, what I like about the sunroof system that's on this particular Venza is that it has an expansive opening. And what I do like about this system is that instead of using this winding type of fabric that some other manufacturers have been using lately to cover this space, it actually has a proper uh, sun blocking panel. Now, there's also, of course, center armrest with cup holder, rear vent uh, controls for the uh, heating and ventilation, and also the seat backs, of course, are in the hard type of uh, material, but they've also got this bungee type of material that allows you to put the piece down and stuff it with your whatnot. Welcome to how a car interior should be done. You've got nice soft touch up here on the top of the dash, a nice ripple effect, to cut down on glare, which is always important. You've got pieces that fit together relatively well, although I see a couple of issues here and there. 
But the one thing that I really have to point out is this center console. This center console is slick. You've got right here a, uh, a receptacle to hold your iPod or your MP3 player. You don't have to have the wire coming out over top and running down. That's There's a slick. little pass through. You get the wire through in there. You've got cup holders in here. You've got this slides back. You get more storage back here. Comes with uh, automatic climate control with the big, la big large knob here for the main temperature control, a smaller knob for the passenger temperature. You can push it, you can sync them together. It doesn't have nav, but it has a neat little screen at the top of the dash, which shows your vehicle fuel consumption, your trip meter. Plus, when you put it into reverse, it shows you the rear view camera. You know what I like about that, Kelly, is that a lot of the rear view mirrors now are starting to incorporate those screens, starting to find them to be a little bit annoying. And I like the fact that they've actually kept it separate on Toyota products like this, plus the Highlander, they use the same type of system. You're right about the gaps. I've noticed a few spots here that definitely need to be cinched up. But uh, I gotta tell you, this textured feature that they've done to the plastics, this is proving that even if you're just going with the simple plastics on the dashboard, you can make them sexy. Well, that's our take on the 2010 Toyota Venza. And overall, I have to say it's a winner. Definitely is one that's really got my attention from the Toyota camp. The good news is I couldn't yank any of the pieces off inside, so that was a good thing. That's always good. <laughs> but I have to tell you, for me, if I was going to be looking at a Venza, and especially with what they're doing with that 2.7 liter inline four, I would be looking at the four cylinder with the all wheel drive configuration. Although there's not a huge fuel economy penalty going up to the V6, but if the four is all you need, you might as well stick with that. Now, pricing on the Venza starts at about $29,000. And they come pretty fully equipped. It's really not a vehicle that comes in any way what we would call a stripper. No. If you want heated seats, you have to get the leather. True. Uh, and the price goes up to about forty-one, dollars not including some of the options that you can get. Well, and this particular one here is sitting at about $39 when uh, we factor in all the options. So really, there's not a whole lot more that you can get on this other than, say, navigation. That's right. So I think that uh, for me, I gotta stay with four. What do you think? I'd probably choose the V6 just for a little bit more towing capability. Well, and you know, the other thing we should tell people too is if they wanna build one online, they can go to www.toyota.ca. That's right. So join us again next week on ITV Winnipeg when we'll talk about the Mazda 6. I'm Michael Clark. I'm Kelly Taylor.